welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing something different. I am going to be reviewing a bunch of shows, mostly from the 90s though, like, like 90s shows. Most of the reviewing channels is from grown-ups. Like, they used to like shows as a kid, and then you watch them when you're older, and then they're a totally different feel. So, I'm going to be reviewing them as a kid's point of view. So, yeah. Well, the first show I'm going to be reviewing is called Clarissa Explains It All. I'm going to be saying what I like about it, what I don't like about it, what, what they could add, what is some weird stuff, what it reminds me of. All that stuff is going to be collabed into one. about this Clar Clarissa explains it all is that um, the characters have different personalities it's not like all of them are the same it's like DuckTales I'm gonna use this as an example in 80s in 90s I think they the three little ducks Louie Huey Dewey Huey and Louie were like have all the same personality they just it's like they were just wearing different shirts you know like they're the same ducks just like copy and pasted you know so Clarissa she's the main character she has a very strong personality she gets she like she almost like when she wants it she gets it that kind of attitude like my sister know like I want that I'm gonna get it she's very she's also very like loyal to her friends she's not like taking advantage of them or anything she would kind of be the villain in the TV show if she did that you know what I mean okay so and speaking of being loyal to friends she has a friend named Sam and he does weird stuff. He, every time he enters a room or something, or a house, he goes in through the window. Like, imagine that. Every time. And Clarissa's, Clarissa's room is on the top story, so he has to climb a ladder. And to get it, I guess he's trying to make a good, like, entry. Just like, this is the coolest way to come into a room. You know what I mean? So, like, it's not because he's sneaking in or anything, because... Clarissa's parents know that he's there. He even does it in the kit, like in the kitchen. Like he just comes in the window, just like hi, and goes out the window. Do you think he's ever even been through a door? You know, like what's the purpose of that? He has to climb up a ladder, and then go into the room, and then he's there. I guess so. Okay, but you know, it's his thing, not mine. Okay, now, Clarissa also has a brother that is very, very annoying, and she he makes fun of her, and he's like, um, he's one of those kids that is like really good around the parents, like when, but when Clarissa, when the parents aren't near, he's really mean to Clarissa, and I'm not gonna lie, Clarissa is not the best sister back, you know. She does call them names and stuff, but you know, all siblings do that. Okay, ow, I just popped my neck. So what I also like about it is that there are different plots. It's, just, it's not all the same. Like, it's not just like, like in superhero shows, it's just like, oh, there's a villain on the loose. We gotta go catch him. We catched them. Now we're done. And but this TV show is different. You know, there's different plots, there's different problems, there's different solutions. You know, now, it's not what I don't like about it. It's just like what they could add in that would be that would make the show even better. That would make it really, really good. The thing is collaborations. Shows now do this a lot, and this is one. Of, they 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 make the show more interesting. 
So basically, you would have one show combine another show, and they would just form for one episode. Not a season, not the whole entire show, and then they would go away. You know? Not like die or anything, just like go back to their show. Like Ross, Rocco's Modern Life and Hey Arnold, if they met for two episodes, that would make the show more exciting. Aria Monsters. I never know if I should scream during the name. Ah! Real monsters. Angry beavers. Those those morphed into one. Oh, I have a hangnail. I want to pull it off, but I probably shouldn't. So Ferguson is very annoying, and she only has one sibling. It was just Ferguson. And speaking of siblings. What this show reminds me of is called a show, um, it's made in the 2000, 2017, I think. It's a newer show, um, it's called Stuck in the Middle. So, basically, they both remind me because they're both, like, around the same age, and they have sibling, sibling or siblings to de handle with. And, you know, they kind of take it responsibly sometimes. And also, it's almost like they're being filmed. It's like a, it's like a, I don't know, like a vlog almost. Like she stops, like everything else stops. Except her. And she looks at the camera and she's like, and then she talks. And then everything goes again. And Clarissa does that too. The reasons, you know, like she's very like, um, I wouldn't say inventive, but you know, she's very creative. And the girl in Stuck in the Middle, her name is Harley. She is an inventor, and yeah, I wouldn't say Clarissa is an inventor. I would say she is creative, you know. So, yeah. Now the final thing is I'm going to rate their theme song. I love theme songs, but like 90s shows have really good theme songs. But like now, like theme songs aren't as big as anymore, you know clip of like director is and it's just like that like i like the you know like montages of stuff you know even though i skip it like 20 like 50 percent of the time you know like skip but yeah i was seeing that but clarissa's intro i would rate it out of 10 9 out of 10 9 out of 100 whatever you want to think about it um, I personally like those kind of intros, like, the very upbeat music, almost like she's holding the words, you know, like this, it's like she's holding them, you know, but she's not, it's just like what I'm doing, like in the editing, yeah, no, I, I might put, the, I'm gonna put the word banana on here, and I'm holding the word banana, but in real life, I'm just holding my hands out, so, yeah, I, I basically like that kind of stuff, and I like, also I like to see that she's behind a white, in fr not behind, in front of a white, big white background, I think. I think that was right, yeah. So, yeah, I really like that intro. I like the music, too. It's really cool. So, I really hope you've enjoyed my video, and um, I actually... Oh, I forgot. I have two shout-outs I want to give. The first one is is to Steven Shulker. He has a channel called It's Shulker Figs. It's right here. It's called It's Shulker Figs, and it's right here. This is it. Please go look him up. He, I really... And please go subscribe to him. His videos are really funny. The second one is to Gracie. She also has a channel called Gracie Wigger. It's right here. She's on a road to 100 subscribers, and I think she has around 80 right now. And she really wants 100 subscribers. So please to subscribe to this channel. Yeah, please and thank you. So, so um, I hope you liked this video, um, and see you soon. Bye. Not yet, not yet, not yet.
um, I'm going to say the daily challenge. So the daily challenge for you today is to watch a show that your parents used to watch. A show that your parents used to watch. Go up to them and ask them. You don't have to watch it necessarily. You just got to ask them, like, well, what did you watch when you were a kid? And if you're already a grown-up, show that show show the show that you watch when you were a kid to your kids okay so now for reels bye